Hey guys, it's Hammy World, and today's video is on why are small cages really bad, and in particular, these small critter trails. You can find critter trails in pretty much any pet store, Pet Smart, Pet S Supermarket, Petco, any pet store. You will find a critter trail. I got one when I first got my hamster. Do not do that because I didn't do any research whatsoever when I got my hamster. Please do research because then you're going to not make the mistakes I did and actually buy a decent sized cage like this cage right here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to open up this critter trail and we're going to put all the bare necessities that we need in our hamster cage. So let's get started. Okay, so first, first things first, we need a water bottle. So we're gonna just put in this water bottle. It's actually full of water right now. Um, this is from the critter trail. It came with the critter trail. So just put it in like that. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the food dish here. Here's Hammy's food dish. I just refilled it. Hammy's, well, I'm not sure what she's doing right now. Um, but here's the food dish. So I'm just going to put it in this corner. Next, we're going to put it tidy. Oh, God. Oh. Um. Hopefully she won't get mad at me. I'm going to put it in her Heidi right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to put it in her hamster wheel. Right here, this is her hamster wheel. There we go, I'm gonna put it in right there. Now I'm just gonna put in some shoes. Every hamster needs shoes because their teeth are constantly growing. Put them in right there. So that was all the extreme bare necessities. Now, your hamster does want some entertainment, so it's gonna take this tube. There. I'm gonna put it in here. Let's see, Let's put it in like that. There we go. Now most people potty train or give you their hamster sand bath. So here's my sand bath, and you can see we already ran into a problem. There's nowhere in this cage to put a sand bath. If I do, it's like right here, and if I do that, the wheel's probably not gonna spin. So I'll just put the wheel like that. And there we go. We fit everything a hamster needs in this small cage. But you can obviously see that there's a problem. Would you be happy in this cage? You will not be happy. You have absolutely no space to run around. You can barely even spin your wheel because you're probably going to move your wheel and it's probably not even going to spin later on. Just this is pretty much... An Example of nearly every single store brought cage. It's way too small. You can kinda you can kinda fit everything in, but you're not gonna be that happy. Wait, this is just for dwarf hamsters. What about if you have a Syrian? Keep in mind this is a six point five inch silent spinner right here. Let's imagine a twelve inch. It's probably let's say this big, twice as tall. Let's put it in the cage. This tall. It's taller than the actual roof of the cage. Oh, and did you know that Syrian food bowls are twice the size of this? And their domes are twice the size of this? And their tubes are bigger? And then they also need a bigger sand bath? You have definitely just ran into a huge problem right there. This is why most store-bought cages and small cages are very, very bad for your hamster. They do not provide enough space because every cage needs at least 450 square inches of floor space. This is only 
around 150. If you want a 525 syringe cage, then you're gonna look have to look at my cage. This is a 525 inch. I mean, square inch cage. This is a 200. Pretty noticeable size size difference, isn't there? Also, price price differences. This is eighteen dollars at Target and also eighteen dollars at Home Depot. But this thing's forty dollars. Not a good idea to buy this. This is around six to five times bigger than this, and it's three times cheaper. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna put everything back into Hammy's cage. And hopefully this video has made you see why are small cages so bad for your hamster. So to recap, every hamster needs at least 450 square inches of floor space. This is what the small pet community has recommended. Remember, bigger is always better, so it is very nice if you have a cage that's also bigger than 450 square inches. Now, I know some people that actually house multiple hamsters in this tiny thing. Do not do that. Don't even house a hamster in here. If you're going to house multiple hamsters and you're looking for something cheap, why don't you use a bin cage? That's also perfectly fine. Also, oops, housing one hamster, use a bin cage. It is perfectly fine. So hopefully this video helped, and thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye!